What's up, y'all? This your boy DJ Killzone Jones, and I pretty much lost all respect for Nick Cannon on this day. Uh, he's using white face to promote his new album, white white people party music. Like, I don't I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Um, you know, a lot of people say Nick Cannon, as far as black people, has fallen off. You know, in recent years, you know, he he's not appealing to black people anymore. He's kind of sold out. He's all in that white crowd or whatever, but I, I disagree. When you got shows like Wildin' Out, he's doing stand-up, you know what I'm saying? His stand-up does appeal to everybody because he's not as raw-edged or is not as enclosed as other people. But, like I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, like, you don't have to, he doesn't have to go these dire straits to promote an album. He's, he, he'll do 500000 at least, I guess this time he's trying to go platinum. You know what I'm saying? He got Future Amigos on this one tr uh, track that he got, um, but I don't. I didn't think it was good. You know what I'm saying? When you got Future and Amigos on the same track and they don't save the track, the track is is boo boo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me. And I just can't get behind that he's actually going through with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, bl black folks were forced to blackface themselves and you know white people were uh asked to blackface themselves back in you know what i'm saying back in in the, in the in the late 1800s early 1900s and probably even before that when they people were doing plays and shows and minstrel shows and stuff like that and you know what i'm saying they did it in white chicks they did it in uh you know robert downey did it in tropic thunder but that was a movie you know what I'm saying? You are willing. You you he shouts out Robin Downey to give you know give him the credit to do it. You are not Robin Downey Jr. Nick Cannon. You are Nick Cannon. You are Nicholas Cannon. You know what I'm saying? And I respect him still for his business savvy, for him looking out for people and uh, shouting out people and get putting people on his show like Timothy Leggetto and other people, uh, Emmanuel Hudson. You know what I'm saying? I I will always respect. Nick Cannon, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not a. It's, this is a video is not a diss to him. I just I can't I can't get behind that and I can't support this album and I'm I'm starting to lose the respect that I have for you. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Maybe it works. Maybe it works because truth be told, black folks aren't really checking for Nick Cannon. I'm probably one of the only people that that's black that still you know what I'm saying. I'll listen to Can I Ball. I'll listen to Jigolo because the records on there were dope. You know, that other album that you had, uh, what, I think was it Can I Live, was pretty cool. You know, I like the concepts on that album. But this album just, you know, I, I can't. White people party music, I can't get behind it. Like, Gucci and them had the waste, white boy wasted song. And now everybody's, you know, wasted like the white boys or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? Black people get waste, wasted too. You know what I'm saying? And we're not celebrating you know what I'm saying? It's not a celebratory thing. When white people get wasted, it's a celebratory thing. Black people get wasted. We got we have bro. We can't play like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a racist thing, but I'm just saying black people shouldn't even play like that. You know what I'm saying? He's got like a whole bunch of white folks, and it's it's hollowed out like it's supposed to look like Molly or drugs or a party or whatever a rave with a lot of drugs going on. Y'all can check the story at the bottom, man. Make sure you like this video comment rate i mean comment uh share and subscribe you know what i'm saying for more videos and i'm gonna keep it going nick cannon come on son <laughs> peace